So hello, English 302. Um, this is Lakeisha Fuller, and I am going to challenge and also um, explore. Um, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not exploring. I'm just challenging something that I read in the book, The Complete Persepolis, uh, this, this week, and also going to talk a little bit about cause and effect as well as uh, relational. So I'll start with the challenge. Um, I wanted to challenge um, the fact that on page uh, 131, the author describes um, her mother. She says, she says, for an Iranian mother, my mom was very permissive. I only knew two or three other girls who could go out alone at 13. So um, she kind of like makes a statement or she exact, she does make a statement and says that for an Iranian mother, um, she, you know, she generalizes her mom and basically says that, you know, she's really permissive. And um, I want to challenge that because um, I actually have one um, Iranian friend that um, her mom is t like way more permissive than my mother. Um, it's just, well, and she's she's the only um, Iranian parent that I know that is like that. But I just want to challenge that because not all parents are the same and you can't just group them in a category like, oh, for an Iranian mom, she's, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I understand it's a general, you know, it's a, um, a statement coming from someone who is Iranian. But that's like, you know, me saying, oh, for an African-American mother, my mom is very permissive or she's very strict. Um, you know, you can't generalize um, parents because they're all different. Their parenting styles are different. They all, you know, they come in different shapes, sizes, colors and things like that. Um, you know, they have different attitudes for different children. So even a parent like my mom, who is very, um, you know, permissive with my older sister, she's not that way now with me, or she is that way with my younger siblings. So um, you really just can't generalize um, parents like that because there's not much, um, too much fact to it. So I would like to challenge that. Um, I want to relate um, a little bit to, um, what else? Something on what page 113 and page 131 where, um, the daughter says, uh, or the author says, she tells her mom, I'm going out, you know, to buy me some tapes. And she just tells her that's on page 131. And then on page 113, she actually, um, she actually, uh, that's, oh, I go back to that again, because I love that part so much when she just tells her mom off and she's like, you know, you're the dictator in this house. Um, and then also again, even, um, on page 177, when she, um, when she puts her hands on the head mistress of the school, you know, she's really, 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 um, really defiant. And I wanted to just relate that to the youth of today. Um, uh, you know, I hear a lot of people saying that, um, the youth is really out of control and they do what they want to do. And, um, you know, and I just say, you know, even now, you know, this book was, you know, she was young in the, in the 1980s and, you know, kids in, you know, 2000, these millennials to is 2017. And, you know, the youth are really, um, really different. You know, they're just really opinionated and they do what they want to do. And, um, you know, they, they have strong opinions and they voice those opinions. Like, um, when I was coming up, I could have an opinion, but I couldn't voice it. That's just the way that, um, culturally I was raised. So, um, you know, it's really different now and the youth have a really huge opportunity to express themselves. And so I just wanted to relate that to, um, the teens of today and the youth of today. And so, um, I thought that was really interesting to look at. And even in another country, you know, it's still really similar. Um, and then I wanted to look at the cause and effect of, um, how radical, um, Marjane she was like her her father says on page 119 or no her mother says it scares me you know how blunt she is and then her father says it'll help her later on you'll see and so later on in the book it does help her and um you know she's still radical and the um and it's awesome to read and you know her her dad I guess knew her best and he you know tells it his the mom uh, she tells Marjane's mom you know that it'll help her later on and it really does um, because she learns to stand up for herself throughout her uh, teenage years and I think that's really awesome and really cool so you know them you know allowing her to be so defiant and different actually helped her to continue to cultivate who she was becoming as a woman so that was really cool so thank you you guys so much for listening and I hope I spoke slowly enough um yeah see you next week